Hello there! Here we have a system of linear equations, this time of the fourth order. Let's apply Gaussian elimination method. Often it is convenient to represent this system as its matrix, as a more complex way of representation. This is especially useful when we're dealing with systems of order higher than the third, as in our case. We can also notice that we have non-zero free terms, so we'll perform all the operations with the augmented matrix of the given system. Let's write down this matrix. In the first row we have 2, 4, negative 3, 2, and 0. In the second row we have 1, negative 2, 5, 2, and 2. In the third equation, there is no x1, so the first coefficient is 0. And then we have 2, negative 4, 5, and negative 1. In the last row, we have 0, 0, negative 2, 1, and negative 3. As we know, we intend to represent the matrix in a triangular form, which means that we must get 1s on the main diagonal and zeros below it. For that, we can swap rows of the matrix, we can add or subtract them, divide or multiply them by real non-zero numbers. Let's swap the first two rows so that we have 1 over here on the main diagonal. And here's what we get. The second row now becomes the first one. 1, negative 2, 5, 2, 2. And the first row becomes the second. 2, 4, negative 3, 2, 0. The last two rows remain the same. 0, 2, negative 4, 5, negative 1 and 0, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 3. Now let's obtain 0 over here, which is below the main diagonal. For that, we will multiply the first row by negative 2 and add it to the second row. So the first row remains the same. 1, negative 2, 5, 2, 2. Now the second row. 1 times negative 2 plus 2 gives us 0. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus 4 gives us 8. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, minus 3 equals negative 13. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 2 and gives us negative 2. And 2 times negative 2 plus 0 equals negative 4. Once again, the last two rows remain the same. 0, 2, negative 4, 5, negative 1. And 0, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 3. Now let's swap the second and the third rows. In the first row we have 1, negative 2, 5, 2, 2. In the second row now we have 0, 2, negative 4, 5, negative 1. And in the third row we have 0, 8, negative 13, negative 2, and negative 4. The last row remains the same. 0, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 3. Let's obtain 0 over here now. For that, we'll multiply the second row by negative 4 and add it to the third. The 
the first two rows remain the same now. 1, negative 2, 5, 2, 2. And the second row is 0, 2, negative 4, 5, negative 1. Now the third row. 0 times negative 4 plus 0 obviously equals 0. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 8 and gives us 0. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 minus 13 equals 3. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 minus 2 gives us negative 22. And negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4 minus 4 equals 0. In the last row we have 0, 0, negative 2, 1, and negative 3. Now let's divide the second row by 2 to get coefficient 1 over here on the main diagonal. So in the first row we have 1, negative 2, 5, 2, and 2. The second row divided by 2 gives us 0, 1, negative 2, 5 halves, and negative 1 half. And now we can also notice that we have 3 here and negative 2 over here. So if we add the last row to the third row, we will obtain 1 over here also on the main diagonal. So let's do this also. So we have 0 plus 0, which is 0. The same thing here, another 0. 3 minus 2 equals 1. And negative 22 plus 1 gives us negative 21. 0 minus 3 equals negative 3. And the last row is 0, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 3. Finally, to get our matrix in the triangular form, we need to obtain 0 over here. And for that, we will multiply the third row by 2 and add it to the last row. The first three rows remain the same now. In the first, we have 1, negative 2, 5, 2, and 2. In the second, we have 0, 1, negative 2, 5 halves, and negative 1 half. The third row is 0, 0, 1, negative 21, and negative 3. And the last row is 0 times 2 plus 0, which is 0, then another 0, 1 times 2 minus 2 also gives us 0. Negative 21 times 2 is negative 42 plus 1 equals negative 41. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 minus 3 equals negative 9. Now our matrix is in a triangular form, and we can find all the unknowns by reverse course of Gauss method. For convenience, let's return to equations. first equation is x1 minus 2 times x2 plus 5 times x3 plus 2 times x4 equals 2. In the second row we have a zero coefficient over here, which means that there is no x1 in this equation, so we begin with x2 minus 2 times x3 plus 5 halves times x4 equals negative 1 half. 
Here we have two zeros, so we begin with x3 minus 21 times x4 equals negative 3. And in the last row we have three zero coefficients, so we have only negative 41 times x4 equals negative 9. So now let's find all the unknowns. But first, let's clear some space. So let's begin with x4. x4 equals negative 9 over negative 41, which is 9 over 41. Now x3. It is equal to 21 times x4 minus 3, which is 21 times 9 over 41 minus 3. Let's represent this expression as a fraction with common denominator, 41. In the numerator we have 21 times 9, which is 189, minus 3 times 41, which is 123. And this is equal to 66 over 41. Now let's move on to x2. is equal to 2 times x3 minus 5 halves times x4 minus 1 half which is 2 times 66 over 41 minus 5 halves times 9 over 41 minus 1 half Once again, let's represent this expression as a fraction with common denominator, but this time it is 2 times 41, which is 82. In the numerator we have 2 times 66 times 2, which is 264, minus 5 times 9, which is 45, minus 1 times 41, which is 41. And this is equal to 178 over 82. Or it's 89 over 41. Finally, let's find x1. It is equal to 2 times x2 minus 5 times x3 minus 2 times x4 plus 2 which is 2 times 89 over 41 minus 5 times 66 over 41 minus 2 times 9 over 41 plus 2 Once again, we represent this expression as a fraction with common denominator, 41. In the numerator we have 2 times 89, which is 178, minus 5 times 66, which is 330, minus 2 times 9, which is 18, plus 2 times 41, which is equal to 82. And this is equal to negative 88 over 41. Now we found all the unknowns. Let's write down the answer. x1 equals negative 88 over 41. x2 equals 89 over 41. x3 equals 66 over 41. 
and x4 is 9 over 41. So here's the solution for the given system of equations, and that's the way we use Gaussian elimination method.